good morning there, Vapor Neighbors. Yeah, working on my intro words. Um, before we get started, let's have uh, some coffee. Mm -hmm. And let's have a vape. All right, let's get the party started. So, <laughs> I wanted to make a follow-up video. I feel like I'm out of frame, wow. <laughs> I wanted to make a follow-up video on what I've learned this weekend by doing my homework on volts and watts and ohms. Yeah, I did my homework. I even downloaded a nifty little ohms law calculator. Uh, it's an app I found uh, on my iPhone, actually. I know that there's websites out there that do the same thing, and they're very helpful. Um, dog. What is it with the dog? Anyway, I love my dog, but she's just slightly off in the head. Anyhow, so what I learned um, basically was how my watts translate to the volts I pull off of my battery. Uh, because I cannot stand the taste, as I mentioned, of a burned coil. Burned. It's not really the coil that burns, it's like the wick. If, uh, dog, if uh, you overheat your coil, uh, it will start to burn the wicking agent, and it just tastes terrible. Just get away from it. Anyway, so the app I found on the iPhone, not sure if it's available on the Android platform or not, but it's just very simply called Ohm's Law. I think Ohm's Law or Ohm's Law Calculator. Like there's no fancy terminology to it whatsoever. Then uh, Ohm's Law. That's it. It's just an app. Uh, the the logo they use is just a black square with a white triangular outline, with some letters in it. Anyway, so I did compare it to the ones I've seen online. Uh, of course, they're all accurate. All the all of them read the same thing. So I can't really show it to you on camera because my screen won't pick up on camera. <laughs> I already tried this once before, but um, I feel like. The Ohm's Law Calculator is something essential to new vapors, especially people who are looking to upgrade their experience into a variable voltage, variable wattage mod, um, and then beyond. You know, people who get into RDAs, I think it is very crucial to know your Ohm's Law or have um, an Ohm's Law Calculator very handy. Um, I don't build, so I... I can't, I can't even tell you anything about that. So nice. Anyway, what I discovered is uh, with my mod, the only mod I have, my Vamo V5 Rainbow Edition. I still love this thing. It's still just, it's so beautiful. I did discover this weekend I prefer it in 18350 mode, but the only 18350 batteries I have are just terrible. They're they're the equivalent of, they're, they're just generic. It's like using generic toilet paper or Charmin or whatever fancy brand you like. There, there's just no comparison. So I do need to get me some fancy 13, I'm sorry, 18350 batteries so that I can use this in the shorter, it stops here when I do that in the shorter mode. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Um, as I was doing my homework, I put this into voltage mode just to kind of discover where my voltage sweet spot was. So I started off really low. Um, we'll just do a little recap with you. Okay, so put it in 3.5 volts. See what it does. Eh, it vapes. Vapes just fine. I'd like a little bit more flavor to it though. Pump it up to 3.8. Try it. Oh, I know I've tasted better off of this. Let's go as high as 4.1. I know with this particular coil I can't exceed 5 volts, so I want to make sure I stay under that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's where I want to be. 4.1. 
It's exactly what I did this weekend. 4.1 is great. Okay, cool. Let's bust out the Ohm's Law calculator on my phone and see what my wattage comparison would be. Alright, so this in this particular app, it gives you four places you can put your values in. It gives you voltage, current, which is amps, resistance of your ohms, and then, or resistance is ohms, and then power, which is your watts. And this app tells you right on the side, you know, it says voltage, current, resistance, power, and then on the other side, it gives you the initial, VA, ohm, W, watts. Okay. What else I like about this is it gives you at the bottom of the screen, it gives you a nice little diagram. Uh, it's a box. It uh, puts the V over here, so you've got volts going in, current running around, resistance where your coils are, and power going out. So this tells me that my battery pulls volts, it currents, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a scientist here, I'm just an average Joe, or an average Jane, whatever. Um, basically it pulls, the volts pull out of the battery, it sends the current to the coil, which reads it's your resistance, and then your wattage is what goes out. So let's just plug in the figures. Where was I at? Voltage. I was at 4.1 volts. 4.1. I don't know the current, but my resistance, let's check the resistance, reads at 1.7. Awesome. 1.7. So based on those two values, my volts at 4.1, my resistance at 1.7, this tells me that the watts I'm actually using are 9.8. 8, 8, whatever. It just goes on for a while. So, okay, cool. I can go up as high as 9, maybe even 10 watts, and still get the same vape off of my 4.1 volts. Let's test that. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Power output. Let's put it in watts. And let's, uh, whoops. Power output. I think I move a little too fast for the Vamo. Alright, let's just start it at 9.5. I can't do a 9.8. This uh, mod only goes in 0.5 increments for wattage. So, what are you doing? Why did it change my display? Whatever, it's at 9.5 watts. Let's give it a bait. Wouldn't you know it? Just like my 4.1 volts. I can even take this up to 10 watts. Let's try it. Doesn't taste burny in the least. Sweet. Alright, so the other experiment that I ran this weekend, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my L L C D, is this an L C D screen? L C D display back to my power so that it tells me whenever I fire what I'm actually firing at. Ten watts. Okay. The other test I conducted this weekend was I took my tank off, my uh, fancy Aspire Nautilus, which I still need to get the bottom vertical coils for this thing because I that's I just heard that's the way to go. This is still the, the BDC, the bottom dual coil, but I uh, actually just grabbed my EVOD glass and put that on here too without changing a thing. Alright, EVOD glass with some uh, tobacco in it. Well, tobacco flavor. I'm just, uh, we'll do this one at 9.5 watts. Still tastes great. No burning. Let's go up to 10. Mmm. Oh, man. That is full of flavor. Oh, yeah. All right. So it tastes great. Let's see what the ohms read. Ohms read 1.9. That's a little bit different than... 1.7 I just vaped on. So let's go back to the Ohm's Law calculator and just see. Let's clear everything out, reset it completely. Instead of entering volts, since I'm in wattage mode, I'm going to enter 10 watts because that's what I just vaped. My resistance is 1.9. I just looked it up. So with those two values, this is telling me this tank at 10 watts is now pulling 4.35 volts from my battery. So the cool thing about wattage mode is it will adjust your volts for you depending on your resistance or your ohms. So 
back to what I said in my previous video where being in wattage mode is kind of like being in autopilot is totally true. Uh, if you are in wattage mode, uh, you, don't, you don't even have to think about it. You just vape. Uh, making sure, of course, that you, just how I explained it, what I would do is test your volts first. Find your sweet spot in your volts. Then adjust your watts accordingly, and then you can pop any tank you want on here and not even have to adjust it, not even have to think about it. Just maintain your watts. Boom, you're done. So, that's what I learned, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. Hope you all had a great weekend. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. My advice and suggestion for this beautiful Monday, beautiful Monday, it's a great day outside. I need to actually quit filming and open up my windows again because I need some of that fresh air in here. Um, get yourself an Ohm's Law calculator. You need one if you're vaping. So, rambled on enough. Catch you next time.